Hi, this video is to talk about how Microsoft Whiteboard works. Microsoft Whiteboard is one of the applications in your Office 365. And once you open it, it looks a screen, like a screen like this. Let me just move myself out of the way. And you'll see that you can create a new Whiteboard project by just clicking on this, and it's going to open a new Whiteboard. So let me just take you back to one of the Whiteboards I've already created and there we go it's open I'll just put my face here on the side and let's see how it, how it works uh, you'll see that here on this whiteboard I've already brought an image from another Microsoft file so if I go to one of my PowerPoints on this PowerPoint I had created this uh, diagram all I did was I copied and then I went to my Microsoft whiteboard and I pasted it as an image now the convenience of doing that is that now I have a diagram that I can put on my whiteboard and I can use the different colored pens to actually talk to that diagram. So for example, if I'm talking to a group of athletes about how this shutdown could affect their training, I could tell them, well, you can continue working on your strength and conditioning, you can still worry about your nutrition. Uh, our mental skills will work on that. What's being affected during this shutdown will be your on-field stuff or your on-court stuff, depending on the sport. Um, so what we'll really concentrate is about how your nutrition is going to take care of. Notice that but when I'm using this whiteboard, I'm using my mouse to move around. I can choose different colored pens. So I can say this, and I can write with this, this is important right so probably not the best writing etc but we can then erase with that eraser etc so there's different things that you can use this as an actual as an actual um, whiteboard if I wanted to eliminate this diagram from here I can right click it and at this moment it's locked so I can get it off and now I can delete it if I wanted to. So notice that now I've brought, it, brought in this image and I can remove the image. It's gone. If I want to bring it back, it works like a typical Microsoft product that you can go undo and it brings it back. The cool thing about this is that you can use other resources that you might have on other Microsoft uh, files and paste them on your whiteboard to make them look make it look a lot neater. Uh, we can also use, apart from the different colored pens, you can use a ruler and notice that if I use a ruler I can now draw a very straight line on that ruler and if I want to turn that ruler all I have to do is get on this middle bit and now move my mouse to the angle that I want to make that line on my whiteboard. Uh, so I want to make that angle right there. I'm going to get my red pen and now I'm going to draw against my ruler. There we go. Cool. And now I'll turn, turn off my ruler and look at that. I have per perfect straight lines because I've used my, my ruler. You have the lasso effect which allows you to pick up different things and then move them around, for example, to a different part. Um, if you're not going to be using your pens, you can also insert um, a note, right? You can you have a menu, so maybe I just want to use text. And actually, this is actually much better because by inserting text, you can write a lot clearer. This is a test MS whiteboard. Um, session. So notice now that I've, I've, I've been using text, I've, I've been able to write quite neatly on my whiteboard. I'm going to now go back to the lasso and I'm going to clean up this whiteboard up it's like we would do in a normal class when we have a lot of writing on our whiteboard. This I'm going to also remove because I don't need those post-its. Let me just, I'm going to get that post-it and remove it. Please note that this is this uh, video of me speaking is only um, 
a, a, it's a different software, it's a video that's sitting on top of, um, of the screen at the moment, so I can actually uh, explain this to you. This is not part of Microsoft Word, Microsoft Whiteboard. But please do note how we can use Microsoft Whiteboard. Like I was saying, I can bring in um, different uh, images, graphs, etc., from different other from other different uh, Microsoft 365 products. So I'm going to eliminate this diagram. I'm going to go into my Excel sheet, which is going to be this one. And here I've done a graph, a random graph. I'm going to go Control C. I've copied it. I'm going back to my Microsoft whiteboard, and I'm going to go uh, Control V, and I've pasted my graph on on this uh, whiteboard. Now I'm going to place it somewhere on my whiteboard and now I can actually use it. I have a graph that now I can explain to my students when I'm teaching the class. And again, um, you can lock this. So it's, now it's locked, it doesn't move. And now I can use the different colored pens so I can actually write on top. So we want to reach this part. We don't want to fall over here. We want the curve to continue going up. Those are the basic uses of, of Microsoft Whiteboard um, as an application. If you have a video uh, application like Web on Top, which is what I'm using right here, you can put it on top of your Microsoft Whiteboard by recording the screen. You, it will capture you speaking into the, the camera, but also the thing, different things that you might be wanting to explain to your students using a Microsoft Whiteboard session. Um, when you're using Teams, just by sharing your screen to the Microsoft Whiteboard session, you will be able to use it to explain to your students. Hope this has been useful. Take care.